That's right, we never want to be faced with those difficult situations, but if we do find ourselves in a situation where we have to defend ourselves, we want to make sure that you're prepared. So joining me this morning is South Medford's America's Best Kids owner, Nathan James, who's going to teach us some of the skills we need to know. But first, awareness is key. Is that right? Totally, totally right. Um, you want to make sure that you know what's going on in your surroundings. If you have, if you have to, make sure uh, to look look for any items you could use, maybe to, as a self defense. And if they can't pick up any items, let's say we're pinned against the wall, like we were showing them a little earlier. Okay, then if I like a, like I showed Ashley earlier, we. If he's, she's pinned, she wants to make sure to take control of one arm, and then she's going to swim over the top, then create an elbow strike, throw me to the wall, take out one of the legs. And then run. Yes, and then get out of there. Okay, now if we're not brave enough to do a move like that, what are some simpler moves? Okay, you're going to want to make, if somebody's got you uh, trapped against the wall, then you're going to want to make sure to go over the top, strike the elbows, go right to the throat. Okay? okay. Take them away because the throat is a showstopper. So you want to make sure the next one that she showed you a little bit earlier is taking her arms straight up, ha! strike to the chest, thrusting front kick. Ha! And you said also earlier you mentioned to me that screaming helps. Yes, uh, actually, key up is key means energy, yap means yell. If you do, you use a key up, it gives you extra strength, extra energy, and it's it's totally perfect when you're trying to get away from or get out of something. So perfect. Thank you so much, Nathan. Oh. Coming up, we're going to show you a few more advanced moves. You're not going to want to miss it.